Right, so hi guys, uh, hi, um, welcome sa aton uh, last module on management science, no, which is the module six. And ang um, last naton ng module, no, will cover the topic of the PERT diag or the PERT CPM or the program evaluation and review technique, and the CPM, which means the critical path method, no. So amon na siya tong focus subong and paano siya isolve or paano siya gamiton no although um hindi naman siya ganun ka or magamit nato no as as an accountant kasi mostly um, um most of the part diagram is usually used in planning no and construction no mostly in construction and um um ang role nato is to just give value no to to, to the work no to give amount or no to give monetary value on the um project okay so let's start on what is a pert or the program evaluation and review technique now so a pert no is a networking technique um used for planning and controlling so the activities in a project so it provides management per pertinent information about the project such as number one expected completion time of the project when a when each activity in a project is scheduled to start and finish, which part of the project must be finished on time to avoid making the whole project late, how resources may be shifted from one part to another part of the project without affecting the overall um, completion time of the project, and the progress of each part of the project as of a certain date. No? Um, muna siya, na mostly sinagamit is um, sa construction. No? Kasi um, it is very difficult no to to manage a construction like for example in a building no medyo maawat-awat siya ni medyo uh, mabudlay siya no next um this is an example of what we call pert diagram no although um gin compute ko na siya by the way guys no ining te nga ginatawag is the expected time so i already solved this no para for illustration purposes pero uh, most of the ano most of the time um, sa, prob sa problems no ang ginahatag sin ada is ang optimistic time the pessimistic time no and the most likely time do something like that but in here no in 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 pert diagram we we um should always focus on solving the expected time no it's like the average of the three all right so the pert diagram it is an arrow diagram on a network showing the interrelationships or interdependencies of the various activities of a project. No? Although more complex than Gantt chart, a PERT diagram has the advantage of incorporating probabilistic time estimates and identify, identifying the critical path. No? This is an example of a PERT, PERT diagram. Although, nang, ang ko, one, two, three, four, five, six, no? it, in actual usage, it corresponds the actual activity no? in a certain project, like kung, Ano ang first nila nga obrahon, ano ang second nga obrahon, ang third, ang fourth, ang, ang fifth nga obrahon, and ang sixth nga obrahon. And um, what um, part no ang pwede nila masabay-sabay or pwede nila maskipan. Like from one, they can um, work on the project two or the step two, three, and four simultaneously. no Kasi pwede nila ma maubrek as the arrow no corresponds to that certain activities um dire mo makita nga from start point um they can work simultaneously the step 2 step 3 and step 4 no pero hindi sila pwede cast ka work from step 1 to step 5 dapat maagi dan sila sa step 2 no hindi man pwede nga from step 1 to step 2 makato sila sa step 3 because there is no arrow connecting between the step 2 and the step 3 no There's something like that no amo na siyang part diagram to parang um, interrelationship between those um, um, things nga kinanglan obrahon or kinanglan tapuson na certain project right so ipakita ko later on how to solve this na um first ang may circle kag may number tawag sina node no node can be called event events when all the activities leading to a node are finished so an event no represent a specified accomplishment at a particular instant in time and it represents the start or finish of an activity such as one or two in a network, no? from one to two, something like that. No? And ang arrow, nag-connect between that step to 
to another step is the branch no it represents the activities in the project from step 1 to step 2 ano ba ang mga parang ubrahon nila in order to achieve from that step 1 to step 2 right so activity so it is the task to be accomplished it represents the time and resources the necessary to move from one um, node to or event to another right so for example activity 1 to 2 in a network so there are different types of activities. So first is a series. No? Um, a series, an activity cannot be performed unless the predecessor activity is finished. Tumbal ko kagina, hindi ka, ka jump unless wala ka sa ginatawag na parang prerequisites to finish. Right? For example, activity 1 to 2 and 2 to 5 are series of activities. While activity 2 to 5 cannot be performed unless activity 1 to 2 is finished. Something muna, no? hindi siya pwede. Um, maka jump into another sequence unless wala ka pa may matapos na prerequisites niya. While the parallel, no, activities that can be performed simultaneously, for example, ang ko kagina, activities 1 to 2, 1 to 3, and 1 to 4 can be um, performed or work um, simultaneously. Right? Next, time estimates. No? So in the illustrative diagram, ang kagina, if the estimates are in weeks, so the time estimates for activity 1 to 2 is shown as, balik ko lang to, alright? So activity 1 to 2, ari siya from 1 to 2, um, iyang uh, estimated time, which is amuning i computer, will be the 4.5. Uh, the pessimistic time is the 1, the optimistic is, ah, hindi, balik tad. No? The TO, the optimistic time, will be the 1 week. Pessimistic time, ang longest, the 6 week. The most likely time will be the five weeks. All right. Now, um, you need to compute that in each series of activities. All right. Hindi nga isa lang isolta. So meaning, um, tagantan ka mo isa ka example and you need to compute for the rest in order to check if tama or sala ang aton nga um, estimated time. All right. Now, what is the formula? So here is the formula. The TE or the expected time um, is equals to TO, the optimistic plus 4, 4 is a constant, no? 4 multiplied by the most likely time plus the pessimistic time divided by 6. 6 is the um, constant also. All right, so we substitute the amount and we arrive at 4.5. Now, you try to solve the different um, activities no? to, to check if tama or hindi, all right? So pass, a series of activities from start to finish, of course, no? So in the illustrative birth diagram kagina, the path in their corresponding path times, so meaning ang path times kagamito na tunde, is the estimated time already. Right? So the path 1, 2, 5, 6, the total weeks niya, 14 weeks. Ang path 1, 3 to 6, 8 weeks plus 7 weeks is 15. While the path 1, 4, 6 is 8 weeks iya total. Now, what is the implications of that? No? Um, we need to solve the um the path the different path no in order for us to determine on which no sa series of activities na natabo sa din ang ginatawag nga um critical path no because we need to identify the critical path and the reason is here no so the longest path ang pinakamahaba ang path amo na siyang ginatawag nga critical path okay so what, what is that? No? What is the meaning of that? So a delay in the completion of activities in a critical path would cause a delay in the completion of the entire project. No? And shortening the total completion time of the whole project can be accomplished only if no, by shortening the critical path. Okay, so are ang reason kung man madelay ang activity if no, uh, madelay ang critical path. So because of what we call the slack time. Slack time, it is the length of time by which a particular activity can be delayed or can be slipped without having any delaying effect on the end event. All right? So activities along the critical path have zero slack time, meaning wala slack time on that critical path. Kaya siya ang longest time to finish. Siya ang para magiging basis of all the um, path. No? And all non-critical activities have a positive slack. How to ano? How to determine the slack time? No, ang critical pass naton, so pag solve naton kagina is total fifteen weeks. All right, may tatlo ka pass, one three six, one two five six, and one four six. Critical pass is fifteen, ma. Less the pass sang atong uh, less the time of that pass ngagin pilit nyo 
or ang pass nga gina compare naton so the critical pass kung mapansin niyo di less mo siya at the critical pass time wala slack time so zero so wala ka ang um, parang allowance to delay no parang wala ka sang um, time to delay in that specific pass no while the rest of the pass no less mo at the critical pass time magkakaroon siya sang slack time nga ang difference nila right so you have at least a week or and seven weeks for a slack time na pwede mo ma-delay on that certain project but no uh, isa man ang ginaiwasan ang slack time kasi bayad yan eh di ba so we, we need also to minimize that so next there is critical path method so what do we mean when we say critical path method no um cpm may be considered as a subset of pert no cpm is a network technique that uses deterministic time and cost estimates so meaning may value na no so aside from cost estimate cpm includes the concept of crash efforts and crash costs when we say of crash efforts are siya no um what is a crash time so the time required to complete an activity assuming that all available resources over time extra manpower no are devoted to such activity kumbaga ang ang crash efforts atong Uh, atong critical path no we will try to reduce that we try to crush that critical path in order to reduce no um the time to complete the certain project so how do we crush the network no so determining the minimum cost for completing the project in minimum time so that an optimum trade off between the time and cost is achieved so activity times and activity costs are estimated for both the normal and crush efforts So with these estimates the project manager can determine the costs of completing the project if some of the activities are completed on a crash basis. So next, what is our role here? So dere tay masulod as accountant, no? So ang bag ko kagina hindi kita yung obra sang per diagram, but we are only number one, determine the cost of estimates and actual cost of each activity in a project and the preparation of the activity project cost reports and computation analysis of cost variances that's our only role here no but you, we need to also to 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 have a background on what is a per cpm para mabalan tamad kung ano aton nga gina kubra right so next um what is the benefits of a per diagram so per is a very useful technique for planning and control ng activities na project or the entire project itself. Some of the procedures included in PERT or in PERT CPM are in harmony with the accountant's budgetary tasks. Yes, okay, because ga estimate kita sa cost, naga budget kita no in an application of a responsibility accounting system. The third one will be the technique may be used to solve managerial problems pertaining to a project scheduling no kaysa sa tong gan chart diriya sa um, PERT CPM. You you determine the the path, no? the possible different paths. So information systems design and transportation systems design, and PERT, no, helps to keep the project on schedule and to provide feedback to management about the progress of each part of the project. No, ngaman keep siya sang schedule or on schedule. It's because balan mo kung sa di na critical path and you 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 know na already on which part, no. Are you going to to focus your effort? Because wala ka as available ng slack time. Okay. So what is the limitation of PERT? No, reliable time and cost data may not be readily available, and obtaining them may be difficult. No persons involved may overstate budget, and time estimates to avoid unfavorable variances and pressure from the year um superiors. Yes, pero kung anis true to good naman yah, wala man yah problema. Right. So amo na siya ano? So Um, thank you, everyone, for listening and have a good day ahead. Thank you.